Next we're going to be taping the shoulder and we're going to be looking at lymphedema. So if a patient has any form of swelling or bruising through trauma around this sort of area, rather than being specific to one point like the supra or the bursa, this is sort of like generalized sort of shoulder pain. And you might notice some swelling, but you definitely would notice some bruising. So what we've got this time, I've actually prepared an eye strip cut into five fingers, and I've got two of them. So first of all, we are going to turn it over. We need to actually separate the five individual fingers, like so. And then the first application of the pad is going to be around the coracoid process, like so, or just lateral to the coracoid. Yeah, going this way, so I should have said medial, but never mind. So what we can do with these five fingers is literally feed them out with no stretch. So a little movement of the tape just coming down like so. And again, a second finger. It's very tempting to stretch the tape, but if you can just have a gap between each one and just lay those fingers down. Same again, so this will be the third one. So this is directly, imagine you have a bruising and a swelling in this sort of area. Then this would be the first application. And the good thing is with this tape is you can leave it on, you can shower, you can leave it on for five days. You'll probably find after about three to five it starts to lift, especially when you're showering and stuff. So that's the first one. And the second one, so think about where this one has come from. So we're going to do a similar sort of thing, it's more anterior coming from posterior. And now we're going to do a posterior one. So again, break in each finger. And we can feed that on that side like there. And then the first finger is going to just cross, almost like a grid pattern. Like so. The ends of each tape, if you wanted to round them off, you're more than welcome to. It just takes you a bit more time but it prevents it from lifting in. And again, the third one, lay that down. The fourth one, and the last one. Like so. Be careful when you actually warm this one up, yeah, so you don't actually cause any of the tape to lift. And this would be kinesiology taping for edema, bruising of the shoulder.